Hello, horsey people. Finally, I can play my... This is my favourite game of all time. I know, it beats Rival Stars. This is why I started the other channel, Wild Lady Gaming, because I wanted to play Planet Zoo. <laughs> I just love Planet Zoo. But finally, I have a reason to play Planet Zoo on here. So uh, yeah, I think I want to show you guys. This is a first look. I'm going to create a new zoo. What are we going to do? Let's go to England. Let's go to England. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's England. Oh, it's Europe. Okay, well, that's close enough. Uh, we're going to call it Horseyland. We're going to create a zoo just for the Pazowskis. I can't say. The wild Pazowski horse. The P wild Pazowski horse is here. And yeah, it's a new new animal. I bought all the little DLCs basically for this game. I say little DLCs, they're actually quite big. Now those of you that are new to this game, you don't know it, Planet Zoo is like the best game ever. That's all I've got to say. It's amazing. So you can build zoos, you have sandbox mode, you have like challenges, franchises, uh, loads of cool stuff. If you want to find out more, go on my other channel, Wild Lady Gamer. Ranger Gamer. That's my name. <laughs> yeah, and you discover what it's all about. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be building a sanctuary for these beautiful horses. We might make like a Wild West thing. We might try and breed them and stuff. So this is our first ever look at them. I haven't looked at them yet. Um, I'm hoping that... Yeah, so this is only, uh, only in sandbox mode. So I'm just going to make it very basic. Um, for now, we can make fancy enclosures, you know, like stables and stuff like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build a staff path down here. So yeah, if you don't know much about Planet Zoo, then welcome and you're going to be hooked. I'm pretty sure you're going to be hooked. It's incredible. Look at the graphics. You guys wait. Okay, so I'm just going to go conservation because that's that's the, the theme. Oh, wow. How cool is this? How cool is this? What even is that? Uh, the conservation basically... Um, is an expansion pack to the original Planet Zoo. Look how beautiful it is. I'm not going to lie, but wow. It doesn't feel like I'm in Europe right now. Did I click Europe? I feel like I'm in the Savannah. Yeah, I think I got the wrong one. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well. So yeah, we need to make sure we've got space for our people. And then we have space for the equines. So let's go to staff facilities. I think let's put all our... This is the only problem with Planet Zoo. You have to put so much staff facilities in. Any of you guys play this though? Uh, if you want to see more of me playing it, then go on to my other channel. I mean, we could do more on here. We'll probably be just doing horses, of course, because that's the whole point of this game. So, we're going to have... We want a large keeper hut, otherwise they start moaning. But look at the detail on this game, guys. Unbelievable. Look, there's like... Look at this. There's like... There's carrots. There's stuff, you know. This is mad. So, I, I assume... The conservation pack is to uh we'll get a small conservation uh quadrant is to like show you know being green and all that kind of thing we need a small one we need a small research center for now i do like this i love all these little buildings we will want a large staff room because oh there's never enough room for staff tiny little trade center will do nicely i'm just gonna make a row of all this stuff here we do have a veterinary doodah too huh what else do we need? Oh my goodness, look at this vet place. That looks amazing. Look at this one. Wow, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then we have a little workshop that we could probably just stick Ooh, in more path. <laughs> I'm just gonna make I'm just gonna extend this a little bit. Uh we'll make a box of it. That way. Oh my goodness. But guys, it's so hot in the UK here today. It's hot everywhere in the world though, it seems. Which is more of a reason why the conservation is now, you know, more relevant than ever. Because, oh wow, I have not... Have I aligned that to grid? I must have never aligned one of them to grid. Clearly not. Okay, I'll do. Um, so yeah, global warming is happening and it's absolutely terrifying. You know, it's terrifying. If it's this hot now, if we don't change something, what's it going to be in like five years? I'll only be 34. No, I won't. 33 in five years. That's not old. And for those of you that are like a lot younger as well, like I just, oh, I just feel for you guys. I just think what a world we live in at the moment. Look at all these green benches. So I'm going to build a 
pony place. So definitely wooden fencing. Though I would like other fencing. But yeah, this is this could be great. Oh, I should just use hedgerow. Actually, I don't know. Let's just have a look at what animals we can have. We want to go species. What am I doing? This one. We want Pozowski. It begins with a P. These are all the different animals and stuff you can get. It's literally the best. I, I'm not going to lie. I wish I could game this on this channel. But I've got to stick with the niche. And it's a horse gaming channel. Oh, here we go. Let's just buy some husses now. Who's the better stallion? You or you? Let's buy you. Okay, so let's just check the Zoopedia. So if we go to the Pozowski horse, which I'm definitely probably saying wrong. But yeah, it's just worrying, guys. I mean, I'd happily lose life's... Uh, like, you know. I'm trying to think of the word. There's a P. I'm being really thick. I'm multitasking, you see. Perks. Life's perks to save the planet. If I had to go back to walking into town to get food, fine. I'll leave at 6. <laughs> I'll probably leave at 4 a.m. actually. I live very out of the sticks. Where's a pig? Lady Ranger. There it is. Okay, right, finally. So the Pozelski horse, or Equus ferus Pozelski, is a species of wild horse living in the steppes of Mongolia, also known as the Taki. Mongolian wild horse and the Dzungari horse. Bozowski horse is smaller. Is a, a horse is smaller and has a stockier build than most other equid species. It measures. Wow, it's actually quite small. Mature individuals don't. God, they are really are small. Once driven to extinction around the 1960s by habitat loss and overhunting, Bozowski horse only survived in captivity. The species could be considered extinct in the wild. Oh my gosh, that's so awful, as all populations are carefully managed in national parks and national and uh, nature reserves and are descendants of captive breeding programs that have been reintroduced to the wild, reintroduced to the wild. However, Pazowski horse has been recategorized as an endangered species in 2011. Oh my goodness. Got to watch out for inbreeding. Sorry guys, I'm going to flack today because I'm boiling. It's so hot. I will try my best though, but I will not fail to get content. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a hedge. Make it look as natural natural as possible. So yeah, literally you can build everything on Planet Zoo from little tiny rocks and bricks and stuff to ready-made things. Like, it's great. It's such a great game. Anybody here remember the Zoo Tycoon days? Oh, they were the days. I remember being a kid having no responsibilities and I'll just play that all weekend. And now I'm an adult. Damn it. Okay, so uh, we'll give them like like a good bit of space. I will create some sort of viewing platform for people as well. We'll, we'll get, we will get, once we have our sort of first look at them, we will start to get a bit fancy in terms of like, wee, a bit of path down there. In terms of how the people can view them and stuff like that, you can build little like queer line grid. So I'll build like that and then you can build all in there. So people go and stand in there, you see, and go and view them. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up, as always. Yeah. So I think if we try and make the enclosure, maybe we can have it like that. People can go in here and have a little look. I'm just hoping the negative... So you've got to avoid the, like people being able to see the staff stuff. So it looks like we're okay. That's great. And let's put in some... We're going to need... We're going to need electricity and water treatment. So we'll just build them a nice enclosure here with hedges. Boop. And then what we do is we will introduce our ponies to the facility and you guys will see how many people actually how much oh I'm unlimited, I forgot I'm in sandbox mode. That's nice. Which I'm gonna just stop it there, I'm gonna bring it down here. Down there. I think I probably do. So what I'll do is I'll sort of put the grass thing around here. This is so fun. Oh, I don't want it around here. Yeah, I do. Just gonna kind of curve it around here. See what happens. Oh, 
But I think in terms of like creativity, Zoo Tycoon is amazing. It is expensive. It's an expensive game. But it's so worth the money. The, the, you know, these game developers, you can't expect to make stuff for free. But I much prefer PC games in general to app games. Apps are just, ugh. Money grabbing. Money grabbing. But they have to make money to make it work, I guess. So I understand that too. Oh, is that going to make that? Yay, it is. Lovely. Let's make all this. I definitely pressed the wrong map, didn't I? I'm not I'm not in Europe. <laughs> At least I don't think I'm in Europe. Feels like that today. I built them a very big enclosure by mistake. <laughs> Whoops. I was just gonna like literally today was gonna be our first look at them, not like building an entire savannah for them. Oh dear. First look at Pazovsky horses. They are really cute. I haven't actually yeah, so as I say, I have not seen these yet i've been saving them for this channel so i'm very excited oh dear this isn't very good Ooh, okay hopefully that'll make that wonderful and i don't know how i'm going to link this one yet because hmm. i kind of like the curve of the hedge around there um, let's just have a look at some path alignment again oh i don't really want that there yeah, I think that'll be alright. One more. Yeah, okay, that's fine. And then we'll just sort of build the hedge line around there. Just gonna see if I can make it slightly brighter, actually, guys. It's very uh, dark. Ooh. Boop, 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 boop. Is that a bit brighter? Can you guys see that? Yeah, cool. I am boiling right now. I don't want to moan about it. This is nothing I can do. I'm hot right now. Yeah, so we're gonna build this. I. Love this. This is amazing. We might introduce other animals if you guys want me to, but it is a, primarily a horse sanctuary, this. So we'll see how many of these horses we can breed and save. That'll be good. Oh, poo. Excuse me. Excuse my French. Okay. A law hedge line. Okay, that'll do for now. And then we need a star habitat gate we'll put a wooden one in like right there so the staff don't have to move too much so you hire staff and all things like that here which is fun um oh, i've got my research done okay staff let's go oh, we, need cat, okay, we, need... we need a lot of things so the people are gonna like come flooding in flooding in but today we are just we're just getting used to horses actually i need to go to superior no vets oh no Need vets. Okay, let's quickly get a vet. Probably need security guard and all that stuff. Well, let's just... Oh, let's just get every single one in. I can't be bothered to deal with it right now. It's too hot. I probably shouldn't even be gaming right now. It's too hot. So, yeah, there we go. Nice little enclosure. They have, like, little viewing zones, I guess. And then we will put in... I don't think we can put in glass here. Can I put glass in a hedge? Probably not a great idea. Um, I do want to make this. We can make it two-way glass. Yeah, let's make it one-way glass. Yeah, okay, that's nice. And then around the back here, we'll make it into a little wooden. I mean, I hope they don't jump. I don't know if they'll jump out or not. I don't know. I don't know what they're like. Okay, so let's just put them in. Let's just go get them. I needed to check Zoopedia because I want to see how many I can fit in a herd. That was the whole reason I came in. Okay, I can have seven females. Right. Fine. And let's see how much space I made. Whoa, I made a lot of space. Okay, they're gonna be fine. They're gonna be fine. Okay, let's just get this whole thing while we're there. Okay, that's enough. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, there we go. Yeah. And we'll have to adapt the enclosure so it suits them, you know. Oh, well, it's very complicated, this game, guys. It's very uh, let's expend, extend this because honestly it gets so busy so many people come through those doors. What I'm going to do is put some food places in there. Make sure that's okay. Where's the horse? There he comes. They're going to come in the boxes, guys. Are you ready? Mm. It's a two-headed one. That's weird. There we go. Oh, 
Okay, so the stocky little things, they really remind me of um, Shetlands. Look at it. Nice, it's cute. So let's just go to its like detail. We're going to pause there because I'm just going to check that everything is okay. And I hope they don't jump out anywhere. So we're just going to sort this out. So if we go to terrain. You can see all these boxes here where... Oh, they're quite happy with that. We do want more short grass. I don't like the long grass. I think it looks a bit pants. Let's put short grass like around here. We're going to need some water actually, guys. I might do like a little... I might do like a little stream actually. So do they want any soil? Oh, we'll put soil in around here as well. And we'll have it like it's like a path that they use a lot. I, is my intensity up? Yes, it is. We'll just run some like... Oh, short grass through there. Okay, cool. Um, So they're very easy to kind of like sort out. Cool. But let's go to water. So I think let's make like a little rivery thing. I think let's make like... We could make a little river because we have so much space. Let's make a pool over here. I'm making this up, guys. No horses don't really have rivers, but it'd be quite... Oh, my mouse is out of control. I hate it when my mouse does this to me. Let's plant the foundation, like, here. And then we can build a stream. Any problem with the stream, you've got to be very careful. Oh, can I make this smaller? Oh, oh that's too small. Got to be a bit careful that the zookeepers can fit or whatever. It's a bit straight, that stream, but it'd be fine. <laughs> so I think the zookeepers can fit. Yeah, well, we'll just build like a fork in the river here. And then I will just do this and see if it works. Yeah, nice. Because then we can like put rocks and stuff all in there and it will actually end up looking cornish. Let's get back to the horses. Let's make sure they have a food bowl, actually. Here they come. Please don't jump out of anything. Because I haven't actually checked the the height of... Oh, no. Serious injury discovered. What's wrong with you? So I don't know if they're going to be able to jump out. Nah. We'll soon find out. Uh, so we should have five coming. It's quite, they're quite big, aren't they? I think they're quite big. Oh, he's sleeping. We need a food bowl. Let's just put the filters in. I should not be drinking a hot coffee right now, guys. It's boiling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, today's the hottest day like on record in the UK ever. I believe. Which is mental. Okay, let's have a look here. Yeah, let's give them a large food tray because there's quite a lot of them. Oh, I wish we had proper troughs, actually. That would, that would look pretty cool. Okay, they're in. They get a lot of stuff. Like, you can get toys and things for them. Like, this hay grazer. A watermelon. Cool. So, I think let's get them a shelter. I don't want to use that one. I don't really like that one. Um, Australia. They've got an Australian one. Um, well, why is there not a... Normally, they get, like, a conservation one. Let me have a look. Let's have a let's have a look um, filter wise. Let's see if we have a theme. Let's go to conservation. Oh, there isn't a conservation one. Oh, well, that's rubbish. What's this? A beaver pool? Yeah, you can get beavers and stuff. Like it's such a great game. Honestly, I love it. I literally love it. Okay, well let's let's put the theme. Let's let's put it back onto the species of the animal. Oh no, he's kicking. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, yeah, he broke out of this. That was not it. You're a naughty horse. That's not, that's not a, that is very naughty. You should not be doing that. Look at him. He's so smug. Okay, right. Turns out that the, that the, uh, the hedge is not a good idea. Let's see what, uh, okay, maybe I should check then what, oh no. What fencing can we have? Oh no. Actually, who can you be turned out with? A camel! Cool. Um, they can be turned out with a camel. That's very cool. Where does it say about the fencing? Where does it say about the fencing? General information. How is it? Aha! Here we go. So we need grade 2 and 1.5. I don't think I have much of that. Ah! Uh, okay, so what can I have? What can I have that actually looks nice? What are you? You're a grade 3? Okay. 
just want something that looks nice like this one actually looks nice but that's a resistant grade five but i just think that this one whoopsies let's put this on instead i just think it looks nicer this one. Oh no does it look nicer oh i don't know now. it just kind of looks like an english countryside wall thing okay so it turns out hedgerows not a good idea okay let's just put that all with this weird thing and then actually that looks quite nice like that and then we can actually put here whoop, we can probably put glass in yeah we can put glass in instead we'll just do that for now okay oh we're gonna have totally a stonehenge thing on the go here as well you are naughty is he the stallion as well oh no you're a mare thumbs it up so they need some enrichment and things like that so we'll just go to Pozowski horse I love the little noises they do. I think it sounds really cool. Pozalski. Mike Pozalski. Okay, herbs. Scent. We'll put some little herby things in here. We'll put like a melon and stuff. I hope they all fit around here, you know. Uh, I think this is the nicest shelter that I can currently get. Let's make it like... Uh, I can put it at the back here, actually. On a slight curve. Like that. That's quite nice. Um, and then we can... They play piano? What? Horses actually have been known to play piano. Uh, large feed bar barrel feeder thing. We'll get some scratchy trees so people can watch them scratch. Need lots of viewing points for these guys. We will put in a lot of nature and make it like a lot nicer. Let's align to grid a second. Let's try and expand, expand this a smidge because... Yeah. So I don't know what to call this yet. I think we'll call it Horse Haven. Horse Haven. That's actually a really good idea. Then what we'll do is we'll put in... I'm just thinking we'll put in glass maybe here again. Yeah, we'll put glass all along there. Great. People can see them then. And then we'll put nature. We definitely need donation boxes. That's the whole kind of... That's going to help us out a lot. Not that we need it because it's actually sandbox mode. I see what I mean by how busy it gets though, guys. This is nothing yet. Nothing. My favourite thing on Planet Zoo though is the franchise mode. Like, I, I really like that. Okay, let's make this enclosure... S let's make it nice. I want desert rock. I don't want desert rock or savannah rock. I thought they'd have like a different rock. Oh well. That's why they get on well with the camels then. Put a load of rocks in. The rocks do make an awful difference. So we'll put in rocks everywhere and just try and create like some sort of rockery. I press L right now, see if I get a bit of light in there. But yeah, you can make layers with the rocks and things like that. It's such a good honestly, it's such a great game. You guys, you need to go out. If you've got the money, go and buy it. It will waste so much of your life. It will be brilliant. Make you very happy. Just think, say to your parents, you'll give them loads of peace and quiet. See? Uh, let's try and level this one a bit better. I just make, like, random rock faces, like, all across here. Because it just, it just looks quite nice if we've got, like, random rock faces. I think it looks nice anyway. But I'm weird. I like... I like putting all the rocks in. Does anybody else feel like that when they play this? Or is it just me? Probably just me. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get the big, the big rock. I think it's you. No, you're not. Nah, this one. That's not a big one. Where's the big one gone? This one. Yes. And I'm going to create kind of like... All right, up. Oh, that's the wrong button. I'm going to kind of create like a, a walkway here. So they can walk across that so we're just gonna like slurs, subtly like just twist it twist it yeah so we created them like a little bridge we've made them a bridge which is cute so yeah this is great let's get some foliage in foliage foliage do you see what i did there i can't believe there's like palm trees and stuff here this is mad and i can't actually remember hmm can't remember if, how much coverage they like okay they do like quite a bit of coverage that's good Hope they don't jump out because I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really uh whoopsie. I haven't I haven't really made the uh fence very high. 
which is not ideal. Yeah, we could just kind of look, put like papyrus there or whatever you call it. Like maybe another palm tree. I like that we can use palm trees there. It's very cute. Just put the odd bit of plant in. And it, it does go down to the finer detail here. It's such a great game. I love it. Put in more of those reedy things. Put some grass stuff in there as well. Make it look like the big bushes then. What's this? That's a common thingy. They've actually updated it. There's like more bushes and trees and plants and stuff. It does, honestly, it just looks... I mean, Planet Zoo's always been amazing, but now it's like really amazing. And I actually treated myself... I treated myself to all of the DCs because they were on offer last week. They were literally half price. So I was like, oh, do you know what? I'm just going to... I'm just going to get it. Oh, is he going to use the bridge? He's using the bridge! Oh, no, he's not. Oh, I fell off the bridge. Oh no. Hopefully they've got an, mm, the coverage isn't really doing much here, but cool. And we'll have a bush. And we'll use this tree. That looks quite nice, that tree. We do need to put some more over here as well. I like the cedar tree. I think it just looks really nice. Oh, I'm putting little bushes and stuff in like that. And actually we need some rocks over here. What am I doing? Why have I got no rocks over here? Oh, Ledger Ranger. But this is kind of what we're doing on the other channel. We're just like, we were built, well, we're, we're trying to build Zoo like franchise and we're doing episodes on it. It's great fun. We're getting loads of different animals in. Yeah, honestly, it's great, great fun. Um, the only thing is, the stupid game that I was doing won't load in anymore, which is really annoying. So. Yeah, okay, we can sort of create a bit of a Grand Canyon thing there and then let's just add more plants. Like aloe vera. I need some aloe vera. I love these little plants. They're so cute. We could put in another palm tree. Put in quite a few palm trees because I love them. Let's see what other plants we've got in here. What's this? Oh, I don't know what that is, but it's very cool. I'm going to stick it there. I don't really have much finesse about me today. I think it's the heat. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. What are you guys doing over the weekend? What are you doing? Anything good? I think this looks a bit better. Why is it so dark all of a sudden? That's annoying. Oh, little olive trees. Yeah, they added like olive trees. Unless that came with an expansion pack. I totally missed it. I don't know. Put in our, Let's put in a wee tree there. And I think that's good. Hopefully, we're going to see some babies. So we can have challenges on here as well. That's like, well, that's a big bump. Something weird's going on there. Um, can they get in and out? Or are they going to be stuck? I have a horrible feeling they're going to be stuck. I just changed the zoo hours so it wouldn't get dark. What is it doing to me? Huh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Stupid. Okay, I think he might be stuck. Oh, no, he's not stuck. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh, we got through. I might build, like, another little bridge thing here. Let's just go to nature. Let's get one of the big racks. That worked really well. Ah, That'll do. And then let's just go to habitat because I want to put some straw underneath here. I've got to try and make it fit somehow because I don't know where I'm lining that up. Let's sort of see where that fits, you know. Yeah, a bit like that, I guess. So they have like a lot of straw and stuff like that. I just think it looks quite nice. I mean, they could have a stable block. We could make a stable block. Would you guys like to see that? I mean, I'd like to see that. <laughs> what is this? A scare... What? What is this? A scarecrow feeder? Come on, that is really cool. I think of nightmares, but it's very cool. We'll put a sprinkler in for them. We'll put one there. They've got quite a lot of space down here, which is nice. We'll put another sprinkler here. Uh, we'll put a... I don't know what this is, but it's cool. Put one of those there. And this is all the, the toys that they can have, basically. So they have lots and lots to play with, like a little piano, stuff like that. It's very cute. Put another, let's put a grab ball in there. I think that's it. I think I've got all the things that we need. And a hanging grazing ball thing. I don't know what you call that. Yeah, that's literally it. We could put a little tiny food trough, maybe. I don't know where or how the zookeeper's going to reach it. Oh, he can go around there. We'll put a little, hmm, let's put a little feeder, like, yeah. 
Cool. I think that's it. Yay! On its morning again. That's great. Look at him eating out of the scarecrow. It's pretty cute. It's all the little details on this game, like, you know, he's just been in the water this one now, eating out of the scarecrow here. And he's a bit wet. So he's like shiny. It's just clever, isn't it? Oh, I'm so happy with these. Oh, look, now he's scratching. Look how cute he is. But well, that is pretty much it. This is the first look at Planet Zoo's first horses. Yeah, so I've really enjoyed that. We're going to start a horse haven. This is, we call it horse land, but we'll call it the horse yeah. haven series. If you guys want to see me try and make stuff on here. And let's see if we actually manage to breed some of these very... Oh, he's playing with the ball now. Bless him. Very, very endangered animals. Like, it's sad, really. It's like the Shire in England. There's like hardly any Shires left now. I'm going to solve that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Massive shout out to my channel members. You guys are the best. Just want to give out a shout out to the VIP channel members. Here's Amy Watson, Jezza and Emmy Rose. Thank you so much. Honestly, I really appreciate it. And to all the other channel members too. If you can't be a channel member, don't worry. But the best thing you can do for us, please smash the like button on the video if you have time. Really, that would be great. And if you've enjoyed today and you want to see more horse videos, then please consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell. Thank you so much, guys. Have a wholesome rest of your day.